Today we're going to talk a little bit about adding an audio track to a zone slide and <clears throat> what I refer to with a zone slide is uh, using any of the interactive elements that we have here like the click zone which is shown here click zone, um, text zone, keystroke zone and of course adding a question to the slide or a survey uh, this would be multiple choice, true, false, drag and drop, click map, etc. Now what we do is when you add a zone to a slide, um, the zone is active at the very beginning of the slide which pauses the uh, timeline. So it, it makes sense to basically shrink all the elements on the slide down to match since there's no reason to have um, objects that are... I'll show you here. There's no reason to have the objects longer than the click zone because basically all you're trying to do is accomplish the question um, or click zone, for example, here. And once you're done, you do, you're displaying your correct and incorrect answers, but at that point, everything is done. So there's no reason to have additional time afterwards because the playhead, once done, is just going to continue on here so you have objects on the slide basically just hanging out until the next slide. So by moving all the elements to the very front, everything is displayed at once, and um, when you're done, it immediately can go to the next slide. There's no reason to have extra time. Now, let's say you wanted to have the zone active at a different point rather than at the beginning, because maybe you did want to have um, some objects that um, appear and disappear before the zone is active you can then grab the click zone and move it around on the slide here and of course uh, adjust the object elements on the slide as well because uh, maybe you want to have them uh, appear and appear uh, and disappear at different times um, but in this particular example let's go ahead and put this back here and show you a little tip on um, adding audio to this now some people have added audio to the balloon here using the attach uh, sound to balloon icon which if you bring this up here you can record a sound and it will attach to this balloon. Now what's happening though is that the zone will automatically pause the slide so anything going on with this balloon including audio attached to it is going to pause immediately um, when the zone hits basically just freezes every object. So let's say you had audio attached to this and you had um, the click zone out here, the sound would basically play all the way to the end and and then pause at the end. So you can have audio play on a balloon on a, on a zone slide but it would require you to move the zone out. But if you move the zone to the very beginning um, the audio is going to pause immediately and it won't display. So if you build it that way you'll find that um, the audio doesn't work and it's unclear. You may be unclear of why that is. Now, <clears throat> the other thing you can do is add a slide sound. Let's uh, add a quick slide sound here. Hello, hello. Now you'll notice that this automatically um, bumps out the, the uh, duration here and of course these are all uh, end of slide timing rules so those are going to automatically you'll see here in the slide these are automatically going to um, go with it since the slide's been pushed out now the way that this currently works is that the slide sound will play automatically from the very beginning um, but what will happen is the zone here is still paused so once the, the audio completes it's still paused and um, once the zone is completed here with the correct and incorrect answer you'll end up having this timeline again that's going to have to complete before the slide moves. Um, so what you want to do to resolve that is actually use the on load event here. So you would add an on load event to play sound. And then you can record your audio Test, test, test. This is my audio. Now you have some options here when you use the uh, action icon. 
Um, you can wait for the sound to complete before advancing to the next action or slide. So this would be useful if you wanted the audio track to complete before skipping to the next slide rather than just immediately cutting off when they get the uh, answer correct or incorrect. Um, if you just want to have it automatically just stop where it's at and, and skip, then I would leave this blank. Um, you can also adjust concurrency issues here if you have uh, multiple soundtracks. But let's go ahead and add this. You'll notice that the timeline stays the same, but the audio track will now play because it's the onload event happens before the slide is loaded. So the audio will trigger and play through, and then the click zone will automatically be active. All the objects on the screen here will be here, and, except for these, because these are only driven by the correct and incorrect event, which is, you'll find that here. These are the incorrect and on incorrect uh, action items here. And um, that's the best way to do it. Use the onload event whenever you want to add audio to a zone slide.